Hi, welcome to my second video. Today we will be exploring how to use sliders to scale and rotate game objects in AR. As you can see, we spawned an object using AR that we already created last week. Now I have added sliders to control the scale and rotation of this animated spider. Last week we covered how to spawn a game object using AR foundation. If you haven't checked out the video, click on the i button on the top or the link should be present in the description below. Today we will extend that same project and keep adding functionalities to it. In today's case, we will use sliders to rotate and scale the game object in scene. So to begin, if you see the prefab we have here is the spider which we used to spawn. It was an abnormally sized spider. However, we are looking to make the spider vary in size, that is we will alter the scale. If you use the scale tool, we see the values are changing in the inspector. That is what we want to use with the slider. The next thing is to rotate the spider this way. If you notice, we are changing the Y value in the transform and not the X and Z. We need to target the Y value for rotation. Let's control the Y value with the slider. So let me delete the prefab from the scene as we will spawn during the runtime. To add a slider, simply right click in the hierarchy and click UI slider. Let's check the slider and canvas and are fine. Let's position the slider correctly. Let's scale this up as it is too small. Let's bring it in the center of the screen. Let's make these values zero. Now it's in the center. Now let's scale and make it a little big. Let's make it 4.5, 4.5 and 4.5. Now let's anchor it in the bottom center and make the Y position zero. Let's view it in 2D for a better view of the UI elements. Raise it a little. Now let's duplicate and get another slider. Let's call the first one as a scale slider and the next one as a rotate slider. Now let's attach a script to the spider so the spider identifies the sliders and use them for scaling and rotation. Let's create a new script and call it scale and rotate slider. Double click to open. As we are using UI elements, we need to import this package using unity engine.ui. Now let's take out the comments. Let's get the variables first. So we need to two sliders. We need minimum and maximum values of the, of the slider. Let's add private slider, scale slider and private slider, rotate slider. Okay, so now we need to get the minimum and maximum values. Public float scale minimum value, public float scale maximum values. Then for the rotation bit, public float rotation minimum values and public float rotation maximum value. Oh, sorry. Okay, now in the start method, find the sliders first by name and initialize the maximum and minimum values on start. Also, we need to add a listener on the slider when value is changed. So, scale slider equals game object dot find and what the name here? Take this name and paste it here. Get component type of slider. Then what we need to set the scale values. Scale slider dot min value equals scale min value. Scale slider dot max value equals scale max value. Now for the listener, uh, scale slider dot on value change dot add listener name of the function scale slider update. Same for the rotation slider, rotation slider dot game object dot find and the name of the guy and the component slider. Now let's assign the values. 
rotate slider dot min value is equals rotate rot min value and rotate slider dot max value equals rot max value and now rotate slider dot on value changed at dot add listener and the function name to rotate slider as you see two red lines on the functions we need to create them let's take off the update method and start creating a new method void scale slider update where transform dot local scale equals new vector 3 and get values so now add float value as a parameter now add values to x y and z to scale the game object equally similarly for this method the next one void rotate slider update give it a parameter value and transform dot local euler angles as you see it's in degrees to relative parent transform, transform rotation this equals new vector 3 transform to rotation dot x then the value and then the transform to rotation dot z this value will correspond to the y position which we saw earlier this value for scale will equally scale these three values of the spider so let's check all the min and maximum values assigned let's check the string is the same as the name of the game object that looks fine that's it so let's go back to unity and open prefab of the spider add component and add the script we just created let's assign the scale min value as 0.2 and this as 0.5 Rotation minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 360 degrees. Save and build this using build settings. It's not recognizing my device. Now it is. Let me save here and it will start building. And here it is. These sliders to scale and rotate. In fact, the script can be used for non AR projects as well. That's it for today. If you like my work, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, as I'll be posting Unity related videos possibly every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you and peace.